Hi, I'm Leora Bednarsh. Rosh, we're about to celebrate Rosh Hashanah, and Rosh Hashanah is the beginning of the year, but it occurs in the seventh month. Why do we celebrate Rosh Hashanah in the seventh month? Why specifically in Tishrei? And I think the answer to this question lies in the special connection between Rosh Hashanah and Eretz Yisrael. In Eretz Yisrael, this time period is a time of change. The weather is changing, the winds are changing. It's the beginning of a whole new season. The rainy season is about to begin. The rainy season in Israel lasts for a pretty short period of time. As we know, we only daven for rain in Israel from the time of Tishrei through Pesach. Um, and really most of the rainfall falls within an even shorter period of time. And we need enough rain to last for the entire year. So. The, it's critical that we get enough rainfall in the coming months. We know that rain in Tanakh symbolizes Hashem's pleasure and displeasure with Am Yisrael, specifically Am Yisrael living in Eretz Yisrael. And therefore, we, have to, we must make sure that we deserve the rain. Hashem punishes us through withholding rain and thereby withholding our, li our life, livelihood. And he rewards us by giving us rain in the right time, as we say daily in our Kriyat Shema. Therefore, I believe, Rosh Hashanah occurs at this time, right before we start davening for rain, right before the rainy season begins. It is critical that we make sure that we deserve the rain, that we have, are doing the best that we can, that we are taking stock and looking into ourselves and improving ourselves as much as possible, doing tshuva for all the things that we've done wrong and making a commitment to connect as much as we can with Hashem and to make ourselves deserving so that when the new year begins, the new rainy season begins, we're at our best place and that we have the best odds of being deserving and having a wonderful, successful year, which I wish upon all of you. Kultov, Shana Tova. Thank <laughs> you.